Morning, Mike. Um, I just thought I'd create a little program on Logo just to show you uh, what I've done with communicating to a HMI. Um, so I've opened Logo Soft Comfort V8 uh, and I've created a simple program of normally open inputs straight to output contactors on Logo Soft and I've just sent that down to my logo which is there so that's now running um, so from within TIA um, first thing I did was in my device configuration um, I set my IP address in my properties so there's my IP address about 192.168.0.99 and um, once I set that IP address I sent it right down to my HMI um, so add a new IP address. You can do it from within the HMI settings if you wish, but I've just done it through TIA. So once I've done that, I've then gone into connections and I've set up a logo connection. I've called it logo eight and then set my communication driver as logo. And it's as simple as that. Um, once you've done that, you'll notice on this middle screen here, there's a parameter. So for that connection, we set the parameter, KTP 700 basic Profinet, give it the IP address, that's the IP address of my, of my HMI. And then over here on the other side, I give the IP address of my logo, 192.168.0.123. Um, and then that's all set up. And then once I've done that, within my HMI tags, I've just set up some so I've set up some HMI tags. Now these are specific to the HMI. They are nothing to do with the logo or anything else. And the reason that is, is because you can have a list of HMI tags that can go over different connections over to different devices. So the first thing I've done, HMI input one. So basically what that, what that is, is the HMI version of my input one from my logo. And that's just how I've named it for for ease, input two, output one, and output two. Data type is Boolean because they're digital IO. There's my connection. So my connection I've already set up. Um, and I'll go over it now. The addressing, input 0.0, .0 I is for input, zero is for byte zero, and the second zero is for bit zero. So that's basically the first digital input. So in standard addressing, you give your your first address is byte zero bit zero your second address is byte zero bit one and then i've done the same for my outputs and i've got on my logo you can see there's my input then it flashes my my output and there's my input flashes my output so those are the addresses. And very lastly, acquisition cycle. It's really important to set your acquisition cycle because uh, it's set as one second, but that is acquisition cycle basically means how often do you want the HMI to check the status or the state of that input? So that's set as 100 milliseconds, so it's pretty quick. Uh, and lastly, I've gone over and I've created a new screen with just some lights. Um, and what these lights do is each one is set up exactly the same. Um, I've got a display appearance, and in there, I've given my HMI tag, input one. If input one is zero, then green, and if input one is one, then red. And I've done that the same for all of my, my lights there, for my outputs as well. So in theory, the, the lights are gonna react opposite to the inputs, because these are normally open. So. I, right, I click on my HMI, I click my download to device button, it downloads the HMI, there's my HMI, and my logo in the same screen, and you can see, as I hit them, the state is changing on the screen. So that is how you connect a logo to the HMI. Hope this is of some use.